Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video today about DJ Academics as well as Miss Zaya, go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Fake love, I don't need it, you can keep it, that's a fact. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. Well, y'all know DJ Academics is always in the news about getting into it with certain female celebrities such as Young Miami, Megan Thee Stallion, Erica Baidu, and even Glorilla. And as many times as we didn't heard and seen DJ Academics in the news concerning some type of feud that he has picked his way into with the next trending upcoming female rapper. However, we have yet to see DJ Academics actually successfully get into it with as many male rappers as he has female rappers. These social media streets as well as society as a whole has been waiting to cancel DJ Academics for a long time. And the time may have finally come. Because y'all remember last year a YouTuber who goes by the name of Miss Zaya had released a YouTube video short basically accusing DJ Academics of SAing her along with two of his other friends when they were all at his house. And it just seemed kind of weird how DJ Academics just fell out the sky with the video interview of him basically discussing the whole situation. Like he was trying to give himself an alibi in the situation by saying that he had it all on his surveillance video footage. I said to her, I said, yo, I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. You came to my house and had two niggas just you raw. I ain't seen no condom, no none. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like you done. I said, that's why, yo, you should go get tested, bro. And from that moment, she started like, because she the denial shifted and she kept like trying to like pivot on the denial to yo nah send me the video yo I'm pretty sure I didn't f him and I'm like bro you fucked him and she was like no nah, no nah, look again and I, now I'm getting super tight because I'm like bro I'm not about to watch this video if you get f***ed my nigga like it's on my surveillance like bro like I was f***ing you like what you want me to watch the video if you get f***ed cool she keeps saying that whatever whatever she then tells me by the way I, I ain't gonna lie and I'm gonna keep it being about everything my homies did not tell me they at that point, I only seen on my security camera. My homies did not tell Zaya is claiming that she has known DJ Academics as just friends since July of 2022 after a year of not seeing each other. Academics allegedly invited Zaya to his home. And she says that when she arrived, she was greeted by two men, John Doe 1 and 2, who she wasn't expecting to be there. And per the documents, Zaya says that the two men spiked her drink before graping her on Academics' pool deck. Zaya goes on to say that she was allegedly woken up by academics at around 4 a.m. She claims that academics was pulling her hair, prying open her legs, and brutally graping her. She also accuses academics of penetrating her anally and vaginally and says that she was begging him to stop and crying for most of the essay but losing her ability to move physically. She says that the next morning after asking academics what happened, academics showed her a video of her allegedly being essayed by the two men on the pool deck and Zaya provided text messages that allegedly show academics telling her to get tested and that he would do the same. So when it seemed as if DJ Academics was trying to come out and save face for what happened to Zaya while she was in his home, you guys, Zaya came back and responded on her YouTube channel to DJ Academics and this is what she had to say. I look crazy right now, but I'm not going to stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, Academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like, we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You raped me too. And a tape kit was done. You know what? I'm going to come back with my own story. This is what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. And Zaya must have meant every word that she has said in that YouTube video, you guys, because now it is breaking news that she is currently filing a lawsuit against academics for defamation of character as well as graping her. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, you guys, and let me know what y'all think about the situation. Do you think that academics is guilty or is he innocent until proven guilty? No, 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 sleeping from sober to sober. Now I'ma step on these little bitty bitches Here's some brand new Gucci, low some Gucci walking I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken Now it's business when I want to